Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So recently I let you know about the RNET pub folder that was being automatically installed as part of recent Windows updates. And the previous video I posted, Microsoft had warned not to delete the RNET pub folder, which is this folder. And I've just taken a screenshot on my Windows 10 device because I have already uninstalled it and deleted it from my Windows 11 device. Now I'll leave two previous videos linked if you'd like to get more information or play catch up. But this has caused quite a lot of debate for various reasons and it seems now there may be another reason why this could generate a bit of discussion. Because according to a recent article by GHEX, it turns out now that the creation of the Arnet pub folder can also be used by bad actors for the wrong purposes. Now this is all according to security researcher Kevin Beaumont who shared information about the issue and I'll leave the article linked in the description. Now just to backtrack here very quickly, as I mentioned in the video, Microsoft said that this folder was intentionally created as part of its efforts to patch the vulnerability CVE 20252104 and that's why they said you mustn't delete the folder. But according to the research, Microsoft's fix by introducing this folder has also introduced a denial of service vulnerability in the Windows servicing stack. Now basically just to break this down into two simple steps for the purpose of this video as to not to make this too confusing because it is quite a technical in-depth post. What this means is that all it takes is a single command from a regular non-elevated prompt to abuse that RNET pub folder or abuse the issue, which means that regular users may then abuse the issue to stop all Windows security updates, which can be a, a bad thing, especially if there are zero days exploited or serious security issues that need to be patched. Now I'll skip all the technical detail. You go check the post out if you want more in-depth info. Now once that non-elevated prompt is run, what this means is that Windows Security Updates will no longer install on the target machine according to the research done by Beaumont. And what will happen is that they will throw an error, the update will throw an error and then roll back. And th this means that cyber criminals or bad actors can use the hack to prevent future security update installs, which as I mentioned, those security updates are rolling out to fix security issues um, that they are using to attack systems. So if there's no patches rolling out, then for those security issues that Microsoft is trying to patch, then as mentioned, cyber criminals and bad actors then can exploit devices who no longer have those security fixes rolling out. Now, according to the research, the only way to resolve this issue is for Microsoft to fix the problem. And Beaumont has said that the issue has been reported to Microsoft, who has not yet responded as yet at the time of posting this video. So basically, at the end of the day, for this vulnerability to be exploited, bad actors will need to gain access to a Windows machine. So what you can do to stop this is obviously to prevent this from happening, is to make sure that Windows is up to date. Don't install software from dodgy websites and questionable sources. And don't allow others to establish a remote connection to your system. And that's a big one because I have posted a video on how you can turn off remote assistance to prevent um, people getting access to your machine remotely. That'll be linked in the description. And I posted yesterday that there was a new AI scam alert where Microsoft was also warning that attackers could target Quick Assist which is also a remote assistance app that comes with um, Windows 10 and Windows 11 and can also be downloaded from the Microsoft Store. And I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. So remote connections are a big one when it comes to these cyber criminals and these cyber attacks. But nonetheless, that's just a very brief overview. I'll leave the article um, linked in the description if you want more information. 
But I personally think that for your average home user, I think that um, this issue is going to be affecting more the minority than the, than the majority. Um, I'm not aware from any of the posts that I've read that this non-elevated non prompt has already been exploited or used. But like we like to do on the channel, just giving you a heads up um, regarding this issue if you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.